All right, guys, the last thing that we need to do before we get into the real fun stuff is we need to configure Firefox and Burp to work with HTTPS. Now, I just want to give you guys a real quick overview just so I can explain what we're doing. For those of you who don't really understand what HTTPS is, HTTP, we kind of know the basics of how that works. You go and request some information from a web server online, and it sends you back that information. It's how two computers, your browser, and a web server communicate. Now the problem with old standard HTTP is anyone in the middle of your network, whether a hacker or just like a Time Warner system administrator, they can look at your data, your communication, your conversation, and they can just plain old read it like normal text. Now what HTTPS does is it adds another layer of security. In other words, instead of just talking in normal plain text being sent over the network, your browser and server that you're connecting to they actually encrypt that data before sending it out now what this does is it prevents anyone sitting in the middle of your network whether they're a hacker or not from being able to read that data since your conversation between you and the server is now encrypted so that sounds great and it's awesome for you know making secure browser to server communications however we <laughs> we have a little issue with burp what we're actually trying to do is snoop on that traffic, that conversation in the middle. I mean, we are the middleman that's trying to, you know, kind of snoop that traffic, like I said. So we need to be able to tell Firefox, hey, you know how you usually don't trust anyone in the middle? Well, we actually have this program and I need you to trust it so we can actually read the data. So what we need to do first is we need to download a certificate. And if you go to HTTP burp, when you have burp running since it's a proxy this page will give you this right here now on the right you can click on CA certificate and what this does is it downloads a certificate that you can use with Firefox to say hey this is the burp certificate we trust burp it can read our traffic and don't flip out about it now I actually already have this configured with Firefox so I'm not gonna set it up again or else it might mess up but save this file and click OK and then you're gonna download this certificate from Burp. Now once you have that downloaded, if you go to your Firefox settings right here and click on options, you can hop over in your certificates tab and if you view certificates, these are all the certificates that you have by default. These are the certificates that Firefox trusts. Now if you go to import, then in your downloads you're gonna see what you just download like I said I already have it and by the way if you go to right here port swigger um, this is what the certificate is again I already have it but you're not gonna have this yet if you see it then that just means that burp set everything up and Firefox detected it automatically so don't do anything but if you don't see this then just go ahead and import it double click it and it'll import for you and I think there's another window that you have to say trust the identity of this website but anyways once you have their certificate then you're good to go then you can now go to any website that has HTTPS encryption and let me go to one for example like Facebook see Facebook uses HTTPS so we wouldn't typically be able to read this but now over in burp let me Let's go to my proxy I'll do it this way all right so right now check this out this is our conversation between us and Facebook it read our traffic it read the response beautifully so now that burp is configured to read any type of traffic that we go to then we are now ready to hop into the good stuff and start learning how to hack websites